Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm wearing the wrong shirt. There we go. That's more like it. Gotta get my Harry Potter shirt on, right? Yeah, because today is the release day here in North America for the brand new Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts icon set. And this thing looks so amazing. I'm so excited for it. I've been waiting. Originally, it was supposed to come out on September 1st. But now we have it here mid-September, and I can't wait to go to the Lego store with you guys today to pick it up. It's going to be awesome. Yes, the day is here. I even cleared a nice spot for it right there beside Treebeard, the Orthang Tower, and of course, the giant Hogwarts Castle set. So today we're going to be heading to the Lego store. We're going to be checking out all the displays. We're also going to be picking up that set there. We might get some additional stuff. You never know. Maybe that pab wall has something. I don't know. You never know, right? There's always some new exciting stuff at the Lego store. And I can't wait to roll out there and check it out mid-September 2021. Let's head on out and have some fun. Woohoo! All right, everybody. We've arrived at the Lego store in West Edmonton Mall. And they've made some changes to their front window, of course. Yes. We've got all the greatness that was here before and also the new Harry Potter Hogwarts icon set. Let's find out what minifigure I am and what minifigure Jose is today. And of course, we're gonna do that on this large machine over here. Let's see who you are, Jose. Scan up. Oh, that, that makes a whole lot of sense for Jose. Jose, it looks like you're part of the Baywatch team today. <laughs> you want to redo? All right. Round two. Round two. Let's do it. There you go. That's a that's a good one. Look how good Jose looks today. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Looking good. Let's see who I got. Bum, bum. Give me something Star Wars. Give me something Star Wars. Come on. Oh, I'm a British police officer with my bobby cap and my big mustache. I like it. So as per usual, everybody, we got here a little bit early. There's no lineup. I got my Tim Hortons coffee. We found out what minifigures we are. And inside the store there, we can see that they are unloading a plethora of sealed Lego boxes, meaning they're gonna have some really good stock today of some of the newer sets, maybe some of the harder to find sets, maybe some of the sets that are retiring soon. So that's always good. And it's always good to see them in there hustling and bustling around before the store opens, just making sure that the shelves are looking good for the day, right? Pretty exciting. It's September 15th, so we've got some exciting stuff coming out today. Also tomorrow, there's the new Winter Village set, which is Santa's Visit. That's coming out. And then on October 1st, there's a whole bunch of brand new exciting stuff coming out as well. It's early, it's a Wednesday, September 15th but the new Harry Potter icon set is coming out today, and that is super exciting. So, yeah, pretty fired up. All right, all right, so we're in the Lego store, right? We've got all the good stuff, including, of course, the Hogwarts icon set right here beside the Hogwarts castle, and also Diagon Alley. Yeah, by uh, Harry Potter figures and the Basilisk and much more. Hey, we still have this. We gotta build that. I feel like it's gonna blend together nicely with our Winter Village whenever that comes. Hey, they got the uh, the Benatar in stock. Not bad, the Guardians of the Galaxy ship. I think that's the first time I've seen it in stock since August 1st. Also, they have the 89 Batmobile, which is on the end of life list right now. And that's below one of the top 10 sellers apparently, which is the Batwing. Ooh. Some good stuff here in the Marvel and also Harry Potter department. So of course we're here, so we're gonna check out the pab wall, check out these parts that we found here. Macaroni bricks, two by two jumpers, which would be good for tacking down our rides in the amusement park. Sand green cones and telescope. Nougat, four by eight plates, that's pretty cool. It's a nice color. These modified bricks in tan are pretty cool. Large white plate, red plate, and of course, dark bluish gray plate. And check this out, eight by eight light bluish gray plate. That is awesome, along with these fence elements right here too. There is so many great pieces on this wall right now, and Mrs. Brixie's gonna fill up a couple cups because 
don't know. I just feel like there's some good stuff right now. Check this out. Okay, so beside the Disney castle, Jose pointed out these two Easter eggs, which is pretty darn cute. In this set here in the Duplo section, I know, but check it out. There's Mickey Waffles and also Dole Whip. And then in this one right over here, there's the matching T2 camper van with all those hippie stickers on it. Isn't that interesting? Okay, there's pretty much every Star Wars set that you could imagine here right now. As I said, they were loading the shelves before we arrived. There's gunships, R2-D2, at -AT Walker, Moss Eisley Cantina, uh, Star Destroyer, A-Wing, Millennium Falcon, Razor Crest, you name it, they essentially have it, other than, of course, the UCS Millennium Falcon. Three-in-one stuff, I know they had a hard time keeping some of this stuff in stock, but they have the Ferris wheel and also the three-in-one castle in stock ready to go. Which is Same with some of the bigger Technic sets, like the Lamborghini, the Land Rover Defender and the Bugatti. So yeah, this store is like extremely well stocked. Last time we were here, we were checking out this really cool minifig factory. There's like a computer where you can customize the minifigures. You just book your time online and they actually loaded up this really cool colorful display right here with all of the additional elements. So like the heads, the accessories, the legs, the hair pieces, of course, the torso is the thing that you get to print on, so there's no torsos in here. But yeah, check out all the accessories in this really cool, colorful display that they have, including snakes and more snakes and much more. Jose's gonna have to build a minifigure in the minifig factory. She really wants to. Mrs. Brixie's packed up our first cup here, and she's packing up one more, I guess. Good thing we got some VIP points today. So we're gonna get a pretty big discount on our Lego store purchase. Looks like they changed the home of the Coliseum. This used to be in the front window and now it's right beside the 18 plus creator expert area over here. Where there's a bunch of great stuff that's gonna retire relatively soon actually. Ones to keep your eye on. Corner garage. Roller coaster. Uh, what else is there? Oh, Stranger Things over here. And a bunch more. As you can see, there's a plethora of good stuff in here. Oh, there's two more that you should keep your eye on as well. The DB5 and also the Harley Davidson. On the end of life sort of sequence in their shelf life, I guess. Actually, I find it hard to believe, but apparently Pirates of Barracuda Bay is gonna be retiring relatively soon as well. Of course, they're gonna last the remainder of the year, right? But yeah, we got some good stuff here. We got Bonsai Tree, Flower Bouquet, uh, the new Bird's Paradise. Jose and I have just decided against that one for some reason. There's a whack of good stuff in this area. You know what else they have in stock? Advent calendars. They have City, Friends, and also Marvel behind the counter there. I don't see the Star Wars one, however. Also, they've got a fresh box of the new Marvel Studios minifigures. So we could go through and feel the package and look for specific parts to try and get specific minifigures out of the series. I might do that while Jose is filling more pick -a cups. Okay, I, I tried feeling a couple packages and I was like, you know what, that, that, that's getting old. <laughs> Let's go look at some stuff on sale. We've got uh, Fort Private Drive for $10 off. We still got the Attack on the Barrel for over $40 off, which is definitely not bad. I think this is a new addition to the Harry Potter sales here. We've got Groppy on sale. Four dollars off. Any other sales? Not this guy, I don't think. We should check out if they have any damaged box stuff. See if we can rack up some more VIP points. Ooh, also the uh, Hogwarts moments are on sale as well. Interesting. And it looks like the Hogwarts Express is at regular price here. So we got our purchase here. Woohoo! Pretty exciting day. Not bad, not bad. Actually, it's really quiet in here today because. It's September and the kids are back in school, right? So pretty quiet, not a whole lot of people in the store. I actually don't mind it, you know, having the store to yourself and, and sort of going around, doing a bunch of exciting shopping. We could have felt out some uh, pick a brick cups there, or not pick a brick cups, but the uh, felt out pick a brick cups. How can you possibly do that? But she's ate, grabbed a few pick a brick cups and I'll show you exactly what she got. Also, there was the CMFs there for the Marvel uh, minifigures. Those are the things that we could have felt out and we got something pretty cool, but you know what, I guess not. Just because I was looking for the ones with the shield, but there's actually uh, three different figures in the set that has the shield, so 
that doesn't really work out, I don't think, because you might get one that you don't really want, but uh, we'll have to figure that out later, I guess. I know there's like some minifig boxes or something like that, where they come with like six different figures in the box, and I've heard those have actually been quite randomized, and people have seen them at uh, other shopping locations like Toys R Us and stuff like that. I think it's the first time they've done them for a minifig series, so that sounds pretty cool. Let's head on home, check out what we got. All right, so it's safely secured here in the Lego room. This is what we got. Of course, the Hogwarts Icons Collector's Edition. Looks awesome, 18 plus style package, 76391, 3,010 pieces in that beauty there. Also, we got three Pab Cups. Looks like she's got some black studs in there, some sand green cones, some 1x4 plate in white, some pink studs, some 1x2 plate in orange. Uh, we got some more of those 1x1 uh, studs that are like the green flowers. Some pink plates, some of those nougat plates, some more 1x2 blacks, some green sand green telescopes, some green jumpers for our rides, and then some fence elements in here, those large 8x8 dark bluish gray plates, all sorts of goodies jammed in the cup there. Nice that they have studs actually for doing Lego art. I'm assuming that's why Mrs. Brixie got those. And we also got the roses. Very cool. Now we got two of them, so we're starting to build a bouquet of roses, I guess. So there we are. We're back from the Lego store, and now we're getting ready to build the Harry Potter Hogwarts icon set. Could not be more excited. We've got a perfect spot for it here in the Lego room. And honestly, whew, it's going to be hard to determine what is my favorite Harry Potter set after that. Because there's the castle, Diagon Alley, and then Hogwarts icons three prestigious Harry Potter sets that are awesome. So yeah, good day at the Lego store today. We didn't customize Jose a minifigure because we wanted to get home and start building that thing there and it takes quite some time. And we didn't get any of the Marvel CMFs, unfortunately, but we'll get those another day. And we've got lots of exciting stuff planned for the near future. So make sure you stay tuned. Remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by and farewell.